Hey, hey, what's up, farming friends? It's me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose, back with another Farm and Simulator 2017 Mod Showcase. And today we're going to be talking potato harvesting using the Akpil Bulwa 2. Now, this is a new Polish style digger that is out from VNS FDG2. Now, this particular mod is just a very simple digger that pulls the spuds out of the ground. They come up this little conveyor belt here and the dirt is shaken off of them and then these finger guards in the back to wreck them into a nice neat little row for you to collect out here off the back of it now this doesn't have any sort of hopper or anything else like that on it's a very simple crude device that uh, scoops them up and puts them right back in the field so the harvesting uh, is actually done with a uh, front loader or telehandler or bucket uh, something like that. We'll show you that in just a moment. But all this does is just digs the potatoes up out of the ground for you. And simply, since it is a very simple little device, it means it's also very economical and can get you into doing potato harvesting very early in the game. Let's check it out in the store. We'll go into potato harvesting equipment. And now, if you wanted to get in potato harvesting using the traditional equipment, you'd be looking at $121,000 just to get started. Whereas with the act pill bull with two you're looking at only twelve thousand two hundred dollars to get this simple little spud uh digger now it does come at a price in the fact that you're only going to be doing 1.6 meters at a time and you're going to be going at a whopping four miles an hour now the nice other economical advantage of this is the Akpil Bulwa 2 can be pulled with just about any tractor in the game as it has a very low operating overhead of just 35 horsepower. Uh, it does cost you $40 a day in maintenance and that's about the end of it. As you see down at the bottom, the machine is for digging potatoes. It's the Polish brand Akpil and is used to dig potatoes with the stems on it. They are left behind in the field in rows for you. Now with it being stems left on that also means you don't have to have a topper unit for this so all you have to have is the digger in order to do potato operations so let's see this guy in motion and we'll show you how it's all done now also since you've got crop destruction probably on most of your tractors you don't really need the topper anyways because your front tires are going to destroy the crop anyways as you're going through the field but let's get going First thing you want to do, bring up your help menu and make sure that you enable the unload here feature on this particular device. Again, there's no hopper on it, so it's going to immediately scoop the potato up and need to deposit into the field. However, if you don't turn the unload here function on, the device doesn't work. So go ahead and enable unload here. And that way the potatoes will be scooped up and put right back into the field. Then it's just like any other device. Turn it on using B, approach the field, lower it down for operations, and then just drive through the field and it's going to start harvesting up those potatoes. You get a little 2D belt animation and a particle display off the back of it and you're putting potatoes out into the field and it's really just that simple. Now again you're operating at a whopping 1.6 meters uh, working with and at four miles an hour it can get pretty boring doing this however you're not going to be able to use hired help with this I've tried hired help I've tried course play and the device itself just is not recognized so it will not work uh, I would have thought you could just put hired help on it and let them roll uh, but the device doesn't register so if I do hit hired help here's what happens we come to a complete stop. If I dismiss the worker, everything shuts off and I've got to restart the process. Uh, but yeah, the hired help doesn't work. Course play, the same thing. I tried different modes as far as uh, using the um, field work mode. I tried other ways to do it. I just could not get it to actually work utilizing course play in the game. So uh, you're pretty much, if you decide to go down this route, you're going to have to plan on driving the unit yourself and uh, actually doing the work you're not going to be able to put a hired help in because i had this grand idea myself of letting the hired help drag the unit and then i would come behind and harvest all the potatoes that are left in the field but that just did not work um so it's that simple you know you just drive through the field it leaves you these nice little piles of potatoes in a nice neat row for you and then all you have to do is come pick these up and deposit them into um some sort of 
uh, transport unit. And we're going to do that using just a uh, front end loader here with a, a bucket on the front of it. And we'll just drive through the field and grab all these potatoes up. Now that you can also make this easier on yourself, you can set up a little uh, GPS course like I have right here to keep my tractor in a straight line. I can lock into it, lower my bucket down, and then just drive through the field. And uh, if I've got my working with set up, which I don't, which I can massage over just a wee bit, uh, then I can just drive through the field and get all of these uh, potatoes collected up very easily. There we go. And you can do this as realistic or unrealistic as you want to. Uh, by that means, I could hammer down the gas and run it, you know, full speed through the field and collect these up. Or if I want to be more realistic about it, I could slow down and do it at a, a nice moderate pace. Uh, but it's that easy to get the potatoes up out of the field. There's no real challenge to it. So you just scoop them up using your bucket and then you go deposit them into your tipper and take them to wherever you're going to store making sure that you get your bucket down so it actually scoops them up which i'm doing a failure at there we go so yeah we'll collect that last little bit up here and just scoop them up now you can use a tipper or if you had the uh, the pallet maker for the potatoes, the Grim, uh, you could throw them into it and make little pallets. Yeah, there you go. Very simple. You just miss the uh, miss the tipper right there so that you pour them all onto the ground. But oh, that's a casualty of war. Anyways. <laughs> I'm completely failing at this today. But anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and give you one more look at the model over here. Uh, again, this might be something you want to add on your farm, especially if you like getting in potatoes really early in the game. Uh, you can use this. This is the Akpil Bulwa 2 by VNS. FDG2. I got it off of Mod Hosters. So I'll put a link for you in the show description. You'll probably find it on several other mod sites as well. Uh, but that's it for today. Real simple little device, but I think it'll bring a lot of happiness to a lot of people. So I did think I should uh, showcase it for you today. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and come back and join us tomorrow for another uh, video here on the channel. I do new videos each and every day and we live stream each evening around 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Until the next time, stay safe, have a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye-bye.